project. Time to chot. What's up, everybody? Uh, thanks for coming out. We got some Doom on the menu here. I realized that uh, when I was, I was, uh, you know, getting ready to, to go live and I was coming up with, like, you know, the title of the broadcast and stuff. Doom is, is, is a fucking, it's an anagram for, for mood. I don't know if that means something. It might mean, like, your moods can doom you. It definitely means nothing, but you know what? I'm a human being and I need to search for meaning in a meaningless universe, so... I do what I can. I also see there's some subs, resubs, Barba Bun. Thank you so much. <coughs> Getting close to year, girl. Ivan, thank you for coming, and also thank you for the come thing. Thank you for coming and the come thing. There's two things you, you, you did there <laughs> that I'm a fan of. Thank you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that lovely icon in the, in the top right uh, was uh, made by Ivan. Graphic design is his passion. Uh, Octane, gifted a sub to Bubble Cup. Welcome to the family, come Octane. Thank you for that gift. Wedgie wants to know if I'll sing the Doom song. Um... Yeah, how does it go? Doom Sturbed. Starring... <laughs> with featuring frontman David... Dre Doom, that's not working. Doom, Doom Man actually works better. Uh, Nefkin, welcome back to the family. It says that you joined the two years club. Thank you for two years of support, uh, Nefkin. And also the kind of like stupid, ridiculous amount of money that uh, you're giving me on Patreon right now. I kind of feel bad <laughs> about it, but thank you. Um,. And I promise you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that fucking roller coaster tycoon thing working, because this Steam version is all fucked up. And if I wanna, if I wanna stream it, I have to get like there's some kind of, uh, I don't even know. I'm sealed. You, what, what was the deal with that? Like I had to download. Like there's another version of it or, or, or some shit. It's confusing and 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 dumb. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make sure I stream it this month for you, man. Uh, because I feel bad that I dicked you. Like two months in a row, you got dicked. Captain Morshu, welcome back to the family. Thank you. Malacious, welcome back to the family. <coughs> and Ivan as well. Um, Chatter Cheese, thank you for those those bits there. Um, Unzeroic is saying, good afternoon. But it's 8 p.m. here. What time zone are you in? You know what? I'm not going to understand it anyway. Time zones never made sense to me. I'm done trying to understand time zones. So I said I was going to get back. This is the PC version now. I've switched. Um, I'm having having a lot of fun now. And as much as I appreciate the gift, Max Wedgie, the, uh, the fucking controls on the Switch are no bueno, dude. Uh, so this is how far I was able to get... Uh, I said I was going to get up to where I was, but this is almost, this was very close to the end of the stream last time, so it's, it's fine. As Alavulpix points out, time is a social construct. Tribe is a construct, man. What's up, Grand Lovers? Thank you for the bits, and, uh, but, uh, no thank you for the insult. But you did say JK, so that makes it all better. talked about this before, but I don't appreciate like, and I'm, I'm not, this is not related to what, to what you're saying at all, at all by the way. Um, in the chat there, Grand Lovers. But it's like, on Twitch, you can say all kinds of heinous shit, like the most vile insult you could imagine. But if you put a cap at the end of it, it's fine. All is forgiven. All that really nasty shit that they said about me that's really like preying on my insecurities and all that. Listen, it doesn't count. It's like they never said it because they put a cap at the end of their sentence. It's kind of bullshit. It's kind of bullshit. And I mean, <coughs> believe it or not. Oh, that. Oh, he had, he had a bad time there, huh? Believe it or not, and I know this is going to sound ridiculous to a lot of people, but I do, I do have a... a, a 
I'm not gonna say a thick skin, but a moderately, uh, a moderately thick skin here. Um, but you know what? Like, it's one of those things where I'm talking about like that insult comedy type of thing, and it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, saying really fucked up things about him, but he, he, he knows it's a joke. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, especially when you're on the internet, and you know, you really don't, you really don't like know the people that well. That that stuff can get kind of fucking hairy. I missed the first one of the one of these things. I realized that stuff can get kind of uh, can get kind of rough, especially in terms of like content creators, because you'll see, you know, like you'll go look at like YouTube videos sometimes, and these people forget. Like, they really, honest to God, forget there's, like, a human being on the other side of that. You think Mike is cool and nice and funny, Kappa? Well, there's the opposite. I mean, that worked. That's probably better than the, than, <laughs> than, than the other, the other way around, right? You in the mood for Doom, third-rate minion? God, I hope so. Speaking of which, a lot of these minions are very third-rate. Because, uh, this is on easy mode. And you know why it's on easy mode? Because I'm good at video games, and I don't need to prove it to anybody. Boom. There's your explanation. If you don't like it, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm fucking lost. Here we go. <coughs> am I supposed to be able to, like, chut? Like, can I break this? Like, what, what are you... Like, am I not... Okay. Man, I did this already, too. That's the sad part. But yeah, on obviously on PC with the mouse and the keyboard, it's uh it's a lot less painful. Calvin says you just blew me away with that with that statement. Yeah, I don't have anything to prove to to, to you, Calvin. Of all people, you especially? Guys, I blasted through the fucking everything that that came before this. And the second I fucking go live, I can't figure out where to, where to go. It was like record time. It was probably it was like speed run fuck, especially because it was on easy mode. I blasted through everything up until this point. Ubrix. Your sickness is over and you can taste food again. I'm very uh, I'm very happy for you. Taste, I think, is the one the, the one sense that I could live without. I'm just gonna go and fucking start. I don't see any fucking green lights, so I'm about to start yelling. KXE. I'm about I'm about to start I'm about to start flipping fucking shit cuz I don't see any green lights. That is that a green light? That might that may be a green light. Uh the fucking the thing now is how do I get up there? Are you talking about these? Oh, 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 okay. All right. All right. Calm, calm down. <laughs> it's amazing though. It's really fucking true. It's eerie how how true it is. Um that the second I fucking go live and I was trying to make this point with, uh, with Splatoon on Twitter. Because I tweeted a little clip of one of my, uh... My test recordings, right? Um, it, it's, it's fucking remarkable how my video game skill and fucking ability, like, focus ability? Which really shouldn't surprise anybody, but people like to, you know, call this an excuse. But actually, Limes backed me up on Twitter, which, you know, I appreciated. My fucking focus and my skill drops by at least 70% the second I press fucking go live in OBS. Alright, so now that I have his arm... Um, I'm supposed to do what with, with, with it? I mean, do you want- what do you- what do you want from me? Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Not helpful. Thank you. I guess we need to use his... His fucking fingers to open the- there we go, got it. You know what I realized as I was blasting through uh, the part that I played through already for this? The first time I have to do that with that, that dead dude that's up by the satellite array. He's got gloves on. He's wearing like a fucking space suit. So, I re I, it, it, it works anyway. Like, it's able to read his fingerprints. But why is it that none of us caught that the first time and fucking complained about it like we're supposed to? Chemtrails. Feel back for family. Thank you, we sub there.
Like, I don't dislike the metal uh, genre. You know, sometimes I quite like it. But whenever I hear distorted guitars like this, I just, my mind immediately... <laughs> like, with this, this kind of, like, very fucking, like... You know, ear-piercing, uh, specific kind of metal distortion that has a name that I don't remember right now. I immediately just hear... <laughs> like, I just hear guttural, like, man sounds. In lieu of the actual fucking instrument itself. It's, it's remarkable. Where did he go? Hi. <laughs> Am I alone on this? His name is John Chutman. Chemtrails. Hold on. Uh, chat is trying to talk to me. Uh, it's not metal. Read, read how you know. Uh, this, it, I'm, I, I shouldn't have said that. I should have said that that kind of guitar distortion. Um, he's got metal in braid. Uh, hold on a minute. How's the audio now that you heard some music, Omsil? No dub, no metal. The GDC talk by the composer of the game is is fantastic. A dick hair lower. You know, I think I think a dick hair should be enough. It wasn't like it was drowning me out. It was just a little bit louder than I I typically uh, I typically prefer. Shostafield says, "What is metal anymore?" Remember talking about this with Rev not too long ago uh, when we were I think we were I think it was probably during a Minecraft stream. Um. How the, the, the genre is so fucking broad at, at this point, and there's so many subgenres that nobody has any fucking I idea a anymore, right? And there are people trying to quantify that. You know, you've got like new age fucking pixie metal. Like well, it's pixie metal. What do you mean pixie metal? And then you go talk to somebody else, they're like, oh, pixie metal isn't real metal. Well, who gets to decide that? Is there some metal man somewhere who's keeping tabs on all this shit? Who's the fucking authority? Mike is lost again. The authority is... Whatever the Wikipedia metal page says at the time that you're trying to you're trying to figure it out. Am I lost again? Yeah, it looks like it. It's so fucking true though. Cause look at this. I'm talking about something that's not related to the fucking game. I'm trying to divide my attention between two things. You know, I think the people that become really, really, really super duper, like, fucking top tier broadcasters on Twitch are the people that are able to successfully divide their fucking attention spans. And God knows you're not look- you're not looking at one of them. Clown metal is a real thing, Roro Octa. Mongolian throat singing metal. <laughs> Jabroni clown me clown metal. One of the most beloved genres. That does not fucking if you, not, nothing on Blood Bagel qualifies as as metal, or at least it shouldn't. It's like classic rock. I'm fucking lost. Does anyone want to help help me out, Matt? All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up this ramp. Up this ramp that's immediately to my left, and then we're going to uh, uh, go all down that. Uh, make a left, make a right, go down that hallway. Man, I need a GPS. Somebody hooked me up with a fucking GPS with a, like a sexy female Australian accent. Yeah, let's go Australian this time. Good day, cunt. Make a left. To make a right, you cunt. To make another left, you dopey cunt. Yeah. Now go straight, you fucking bogan. Go straight for 15 miles, you fucking bogan. 
That's the best Australian you're going to get out of me. All right. So now we do this. I'm going to look at this again. We're going to make a right. There we go. That's where I beefed it. Okay. Good thinking on that map strat. Top tier strats. Hurry. All right. So, on the shotgun, I got the charged burst, and I got the explosive shot. I got both. I also got uh, this weapon now, which I can upgrade this. I could do the tactical scope. <clears throat> or I could do micro missiles. Like the fat boys, or the little little boys, whatever the fuck, in Fallout. You like the micro missiles, Arakasa? Stry Alexa, all of the world. Stry Alexa. Micro missiles. Fuck it, why not? Does anyone else feel really bad when he punches this robot? Like, this thing's just trying to help. Like, I get it. I appreciate that he has a personality and he has, like, you know, anger issues, which is obviously very relatable to me. But don't take it out on this thing. I mean, look, look how, like, it's, like, sad now. Look at that. <laughs> look at it. He's just trying to make himself useful, and he gets fucking punched in the lens for his trouble. All right. We got a walk, walk sim. Vending machine. I see some gamer fuel in there. I see some Mountain Dew. Right on. It's got any gamer girl pee in there, dude? Got any... Got any real gamer fuel? Just this kid shit. When you need to take it to the next level... There's only one solution for your game. Literal fucking urn, bro. Come on. MLG Strats dish. Hey, what's up? Oh, that's delightful. I like how it inserts it into his ribs. Um, fuck. Yeah, I have a big problem with the shield, bros. I'm not quite sure what the strategy is for them yet. I've been using... the shotgun. Now that's the wrong thing, so I'm gonna press R. Change the thing, okay. Which, like, sometimes works. Whatever. 31 Fish, the controls are gorgeous. Fuck hit me. God, fucking beautiful. <laughs> like, night and fucking day. I mean, look, you, 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 compare this to the last stream, dude. And there's a lesson in here somewhere, and the lesson is, um, don't talk to strangers. Unless, of course, they happen to be, like, a kind of an anthropomorphic milk carton with really long legs and arms. In that case, uh, you have to talk to him because he already knows where you live, and he lives inside you. Oh, it's you. Nice! And again, I mean, it is on easy mode, but you know what? Again, firstly, I don't have any- I don't have to prove anything to anybody. And secondly, uh, you know what? It's just- it's just more fun this way. And if it's not fun... Well, you know the rest. I fucking hate this enemy. I guess you just gotta give him a little, uh... 
Ooh, Benny Hill runaround type of a thing. Ooh, I got a weapon upgrade point. Oh, joy. And I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be upgrading the shotgun. I think I'm going to go for the, uh... Well... I'm thinking the... Oh, I don't want to up... No, I don't want to upgrade the charge burst. I want to upgrade the other thing. Um, hold the weapon... No, I want to... I want to upgrade the... Is this the wrong... No, this is... This is the, the shotgun. I'm trying to upgrade the explosive round. I'm, I'm not... I'm not trying to upgrade the charge burst. Um, and I'm, right now, I'm just trying to figure out how to switch between that menu... Um... Lurker to jerk and whittler. I mean working, not not jerking. Work work working. Lurking and working. Move four to the to the right. Um I, I don't I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, here we go. Uh th this works. I'm gonna go we already got the instant load. And we're going to do some Oh, you you guys have a a fucked up resolution there, huh? Reed Hyena said, did anybody try to try to tell me that before that that did or did no one like notice that holy shit um i'm gonna go for oh i can't afford any of these motherfucker i'm gonna save this then oh 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 yeah that C cool just trying to change the resolution in obs no need for whatever that is um It looked wrong to me in in OBS. It looked it did look wrong to me. Yeah, but um, I don't know what you're talking about. Is it is it better now? Like, was there any like? Does this can you see more of the screen? Barba Bun, gifted a sub to Arm Shield. Fair back to that family day Arm Shield, Barba Bun. Thank you so much for the gift. See, this is the backstory of John Doom guy. He used to work in human resources here on on Mars. And he himself released the demons um just because somebody in the fucking in the office ate the fucking macaroni salad out of the refrigerator that was very clearly labeled John Doom Guy. John Doom Guy in big letters. In Comic Sans MS. He went out of his way to print it out. He printed out four of them and taped one to all four corners of the macaroni salad. All four corners of the Tupperware. And somebody fucking ate it anyway. And he was like, you know what? Fuck this place. Fuck all of you. That or the Doom font. <laughs> Eric Casa. Fuck this place. Fuck all of you. The blind council is always watching. How is the blind council always watching? Did I hear that right? How are they looking at me if they're blind? It was the last fucking straw. They also told him he was going to lose he was going to lose his benefits. Is there like nothing to do in this room or am I stupid again? All right, you keep medical, but you lose dental starting next year. Oh, well, then all of you are going to lose fucking autonomy of your bodies because you're going to be possessed by fucking demons. I don't even think there's, like, an insurance for that. Though clearly there should be. Fuck you? Oh no, the small pig you're being. Don't want to get hit with that.
I remember that that was in there. I've created a new genre called mouth metal. The Gamby metal. <coughs> oh, I guess I can't. Yeah, I'm on fire a little bit. <coughs> Whatever. All in a day's work. Rip and tear and rip and tear and rip, rip, tear and whip and stir. Rip and tear. Like you just ate Taco Bell. Fuck. I needed HP. I'll tell you what, there's nothing more metal than fucking... ...ripping and tearing your anus... ...after eating fuck two of every item on the dollar menu. Probably wouldn't have gotten away with that <laughs> on normal mode, but, uh, you know. Look, it's fun. It's like this, too. This is how I think about it, man. If you're watching a stream and you want to see, you know, you want to see progress in the game, you want to, you know, lay back and enjoy a, a, a fucking stream of somebody playing through a fucking game, you don't want to watch them die 90 times, or at least I don't. That's the reason, like, I almost didn't stream Cuphead, because I'm like, that's going to be... Fucking lame, but you know what? I enjoyed Cuphead too much to not stream it. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense to me. Static says dying is the only fun part. Well, there is a flaw. There's that too. People like, you know, uh, they're on Twitch because they want to see people fail. And I mean, don't worry. It is going to happen. You know, you're not getting cheated out of that watching me suck. And get really frustrated. Like, you'll, you're, you're getting it. You're just getting it a lot less. Is his ragdoll okay? Nothing like a falcon knee to the fucking brainstem. Really, uh, even the playing field a little bit, am I right? That motherfucker must have, like, some real wear and tear on the fucking meniscus. Never understood why his fucking knee was one of his most powerful attacks. It seems... unnecessary. Oh no! <laughs> Stair kill. A part of me is considering <laughs> putting it on the on the normal difficulty because of uh. Well, you know what? Let me get a little bit later. Let me let me uh, let me advance a little bit. Get to the later levels and see if it's still this fucking easy. I'm considering it. I'm. Co I'm. Hi. I am considering it. Mm 
really takes a lot of the juice out of the <laughs> out of the experience, right? It's not about proving something to, to anyone. It's about my enjoyment of the game, Bubblecom God. Why does everything have to be fucked up with you people? Why is everything fucked up? Why are you fucked up? You're not fucked up. <laughs> and here we are again. Uh, I'm going to try to get to that marker on the map there. Uh, on the compass up top there. Um... I, I think I'm... No, the distance is, is going up again. Uh, essentially got no idea uh, where they where they want me to go once once again. Oh, nice. A oh, good thing I came over here. It's a good difficulty, Gubbington. Gubbington, are you the one who said I played like a dad during the last stream? And the good news is... They let you change the difficulty anytime you want. It's not like you have to start a new file or anything. I think. Who said that I played like a dad? Because that person needs to be put in a timeout. Meet me in the study. And bring my belt. Man, they're staying committed to pissing me off right now. I'll tell you that much. This is the wrong way. I'm gonna create a new genre called Ass Metal. I bet you Ass Metal exists. I bet you that's one of the many, many, many sub subgenres. Oh, this looks legit. Area lockdown? Because there's still demons alive? Is that is that what's going on? Man, it'd be pretty sweet if the game could Maybe show me where those those demons are so I can so I can kill them and and advance advance the fucking game. Final ferret says, "Oh, S metal. Oh, you're talking about disturbed." I, you know, there 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 are some of their songs I actually really fucking like. Um, I had a bandmate at one point who was really into that band, and I got exposed to a lot of their music that I otherwise. I otherwise wouldn't have listened to it. Cats on Fire is gifting subs. Oh, wow. Thank you, cats. Uh, Dumpling Cats, Wannabe, Takumi, Vine, Ayel, Trey Mentis, and on Johnny. It's like butt rock, but harder, Green Jester. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with more of an edge of shit. Cats on fire, thank you so much for those subs there. What about cat metal? That's gotta exist. I seen some of the weird like uh, child metal coming out of Japan where there's like, you know, Little girls with like you know uh, <laughs> doing like me metal vocals and, 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 and shit, <laughs> baby metal <laughs> is what I'm talking about. Chat knows what 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 I'm talking about. Does anybody want to want to like? Does anybody want to help me out? Like as far as where I'm where I'm going in this game. Well, we looked at the map last time, but <sighs> so cross the bridge. Hold on. And there's a little area down here I haven't I haven't been to. Or, all right, yeah, don't don't do that, please. Thank you. N nope, this is this is wrong. Not a bunch of babies on stage. That are fucking really really proficient with their instruments. All right. I mean, what are the lyrics about in baby metal? Like, what are they what are they singing about? Like what? Is it you know like the, the traditional metal metal fair like these really dark concepts like death and war and disease and just trying to drink, like just sung by babies? Is that is that what goes on there? That's really fucking annoying, dude. Wow. Um. All right. So I'm gonna make a right he here. 
I'm gonna make a right. I'm gonna make it. What the fuck is happening? All right, so go down. So go down the ramp, and then make a make a a, le a left. I Anybody else like super confused by, by by this? Like, there's a there's a passage here that that's that's not here. Can we can we take a look at that? Like what? Am, am I just in the wrong fucking area? No, it's supposed to be right right next to me, and it's and it isn't. You 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 guys are are seeing this, yeah? Oh, it's a secret. Behind this... Alright, so there's something else I have to do in the level if I want to get that open, right? So that means that that's not the way to advance the plot, uh, the game here. So I have to figure out something else. Um, damn. Damn. I was in like every part of this map already. So that that's all a secret over here? That's that's crazy. Gimme chocolate was one of their songs. Is it like blood chocolate? <laughs> so baby metal is a band or baby metal is a genre? Baby metal is about who's the best pony and why dinosaurs are gross and icky. As as somebody who likes dinosaurs, I don't really appreciate that, honestly. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a band. Okay. And how old are these kids? All right. So here's what we'll, we'll do, I guess. Um, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go, I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to do this, I think. And then I'm going to make a right. And then I'm going to go down that staircase, I think. Okay, this looks legit. Okay, yes, this looks legit. Good. All right. Why was that so fucking complicated? Holy shit. Is this... This feels wrong. But it's not. But it's not. <laughs> but what if I want to be down there? Are they, are they just not not letting me not let me do that, man? Yeah, fucking go out there, you bitch. Thank you. Holy shit. Go 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 go! Thank you for making that. That's fucking metal, dudes. Oh, you see those babies up on the stage? It's fucking metal as fuck. One of my main gripes about children making music, and I understand that this, this, you know, this is a gimmick thing. But it's like, when I hear about child bands, it's like, you know, they might be talented with their instruments. I know that there's, you know, lots of talented kids. But it's like, as far as... You know, like music songs that I want to actually listen to. And I guess this is lyrical, but I could get into how it's also applies to the composition of the music as well. But I won't. You're welcome. I want to hear music that was written by somebody who's been through some shit. So it's relatable to me. Like, I want to hear music that was written by somebody who, you know, had their fucking heart ripped out of their chest by an ex. I want to listen to music... That was written by someone who, you know, had fucking awful things happen to them in their life. Like, lived through fucking awful fucking things like I have. So it's relatable to me, right? And if you're a kid, you know, you just haven't been through... You haven't been through enough. You haven't been through enough to be writing fucking music that I want to listen to. And maybe I'm being a dickhead. I might be... I might be a dickhead. But, you know, I mean, if your song lyrics are about how 
you know, you got... You got detention. So your dad took away your fucking Xbox. You couldn't play Fortnite. I'm probably not gonna... Find that very, very relatable, right? God! Mrs. Miss, I'm trying to think of... Trying to think of a teacher that I had that that this applies to. This is Prince Pay is such a fucking bitch. She failed me in English. And her poopy smells like fish. I was gonna say pussy, but again, it's written by a child, they wouldn't say that. She's such a duty head. I kind of want her dead. Now my dad won't let me play Fortnite. That doesn't rhyme, but you know what? I'm not a lyricist. What do you want? I actually am. Don't tell anybody. Sneak peek of the next, re the next Red Fox album. You're welcome. She won't let me sit to my, next to my best friend in class. So, I'm gonna say that she has a fat ass. <laughs> it's called back to school, all the world. Let's go back to school. Lost again. Yeah, annoyed. That felt like progress, though, because there was a bunch of demons in here. But it wasn't. Wait! Hurry! Rock removed from brain. If only momentarily. Okay, that's cool and everything, but isn't this where I was before? Did I just go in a fucking... I just went in a big fucking circle, didn't I? This game <coughs> is hurting my soul right now. Rock and brain shifted slightly to the right. But it has since relodged back into its ori original position. I almost went into the lava, boys. Am I the only one who thinks that this area is a little bit... ...obtuse? I'm uh, pooping good, Nick. Pooping good. Thanks for asking. You know I appreciate your concern with my bowel movements, Nick. Bros always are very concerned with each other's bowel movements, it's true. Or they should be. They should be. You want an obtuse emote? <laughs> yeah, it, it feels... feels very obtuse to me. I noticed during some points, uh, there was a little marker on the- on the map that was showing me... Like, it was on screen and it was showing me where, like, my next objective was or- or, or whatever. Um... It's not ha happening a a a anymore. I don't, I don't- it's- I see it on the compass, but that's, like, always feels impossible to get to. But yeah, it's not very metal, if I could be honest. It's not very metal at all. I'm just gonna go in circles for the next 45 minutes. I hope everybody's okay with that. Buckle in, boys! Oh, I was already over here. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm looking at that compass there. It's not very helpful to me at all. Man, if only there was a way to lower the difficulty of the map. Navigation, I'd, I'd do that as well. So there you go, you're gonna be able to see that compass up there. Um... 
And looks like the objective is ab above us. So I'm going to try to get back up there ag ag again. If I can. Um, again, not entirely sure how I did it the first time. Just everything looks the same to me. Butter shutter. Fail. Back to the family. Thank you so much. What's that? Oh, I want that. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't have it because I'm already at. Oh, okay. In before this kills me. No! Good shit, Doom Guy. Alright, I see a blue thing there. That's gonna be the elevator up. Just follow the compass. Guys, that's fucking revolting. Can you please? All right, figured it out. Nice. It's starting to get dick cramps again. Which is metal as dick cramps could be. Not desirable. You guys want to hear something real fucking metal? So I saw this article. There's a species of ant in Florida, right? And, uh, <coughs> does this thing. Where after it goes to, like, war or, or whatever with another, speci another species of ant, it brings their skulls back to the fucking ant colony and decorates the place with them. You know, like the fucking Terminator? The Termin Anter, if you will. Yeah? Alright, so I guess they're not skulls. They're like the carapace, the, the head of the carapace. If that's not fucking metal, I don't know. I don't know what is, but it's true. And the scientists can't figure out why they're doing it. Other than... It's really fucking metal. It's like they're eating... Whatever's inside the skull. But then they're just leaving the skull in the ant, you know, in the ant hill. In the ant uh, tunnels or whatever. The ant hole! And the, uh, the, the, the dude in the article was comparing it to how, like, humans might leave chicken wings. Like, chicken bones laying around after eating chicken wings. And it's like, I usually throw those out. Depending on, like, my depression level that day. My depression level is gonna determine... How long those chicken bones sit there fucking rotting, you know? Oh, hi. Oh, there's two of you? Oh, I like that. You're too slow! Move! Fuck! No! Fuck over here. Summerfire says, I collect skulls. So what does it say about me? Um... The core temperature is now stable. Not, nothing. That, that's, that's normal. L lots of people do that. The primary control room you know, activated somewhere nearby. like it Jeffrey Dahmer did it, I believe. You know, he was... You know, a productive member of society when not eating people or whatever, you know? 
<clears throat> no, it's cool. That is that is fucking cool, actually, to me, Summerfire. Um, but yeah, so they go in there and they find all these skulls littered littered about the place. Ant skulls, or yes, carapace heads, if you want, because ex exoskeleton heads, if you want to be fucking specific. Again. But it's like, it's one of those reminders, you know, that the animal kingdom, especially like the insect kingdom, is just a fuck, like it's a dark, twisted, fucking violent, scary, revolting fucking place. That you're probably better off ignoring most of the time. Like, it's a good thing you don't see it that often, because if you were aware of it, you'd be constantly fucking disturbed by the shit that's going on. You know, you got all these fucking... Oh, hello. You know, you got the the insects that, like, you know, d d implant mind control parasites inside of other insects and shit like that. You know, they lay their larva, like, inside of another thing's fucking stomach, and then they fucking the babies eat them out from the inside. Eat them out. Eat their way out from the inside. Like, I don't think that things like that don't go on with mammals. Or reptiles. And if it does... Not on the same scale. Okay. I probably should have been paying attention to that, but I wasn't. Oh, hey, what's up? Alright, we gotta stop the meltdown. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. Though, you know, compared to the kind of shit that human beings will, will, will get up to, you know, comparatively, it's kind of like, well, pick your poison. Because at least the fucking insects are acting out of, you know, instinct and, you know, fucking self-preservation and shit. You know, half the time we're doing these twisted things out of just fucking straight up malice and... Wanting to be a cunt. Actively wanting to be a cunt. The beginning of the end? Like, how close am I to beating this shit? Calvin says this topic is actually kind of bugging me. Well, too bad. This is what I've chosen I've chosen to talk about. I don't really have anything else to say about it though. Um but now that I know that it that, that it annoys you, um I'll you know, I'll try to keep it going. Massive Mutant JM says turn on subtitles. I didn't know that that was an option. Ajaj Jaj 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 five says I want her to show me her how her titties fart. I lost brain cells from that sentence, and I didn't have a lot left, so there's like, this is like a small tragedy that just took place. True Blue says she's triggered the portal to hell. Albino Octopus says there's a species of ant that doesn't do any actual work, but will raid and kill other ant colonies, then take its larva back home and force them to grow up serving the slaver colony. Yeah, you know, it gets to a point where it's like, I mean, are we really, are human beings really that much worse? Yo, maybe, yo, maybe human beings are like the real monsters after all. <laughs> maybe human beings are the real monsters. I watched, uh, finally watched fucking uh, Infinity War. It was pretty cool. Um... And yeah, it's just, well, I don't fucking get into spoilers or whatever. I know it's like a fucking nine month old movie or whatever. But yeah, man, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't expect that to go down the, the, the way that it did. Um, and it inspired, part of the reason I'm, I went live a little bit late tonight is um, I'm working on a new video. One that's, one that's been promised for a long time. But I've been procrastinating it. And a lot of you are going to be very, very excited about this. And by a lot of you, I mean like three. 
Man of butt. Fear back to the family. Thank you so much for the resub. Olivia is using the tower to drill a doorway into their world. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower induction filter. A little bit of Thanos fucking roleplay. Thanos RP. Swiggy. We are back to the family. Olympic level procrastination pun fire. Uh, I saw this article about how. Uh, you know, the, the, the people are, are having, like, less sex today as opposed to previous generations. And I learned a fun new word from this article. Procrasturbation. It's when you use masturbation as a form of, of, as a way to procrastinate things that you gotta fucking do. And I think, wh whoever fucking came up with it. You know, as a lover of, like, word pl wordplay and puns. I think that that's fucking, <laughs> fucking brilliant. It comes out of the, uh, the, the NoFap movement, if anybody's familiar with the NoFap movement. Why aren't I, uh, like, like, let me the fuck out so I can play the game, dude. Thank you. Fucking Christ. Oh, bother. Sand. Oh, I don't like sand. Is that meme ever gonna fucking die? Not if I can help it! Millennials are killing sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, it's on everybody. It's it's not just millennials. It's, that's the way the article made it. See, it's like just everybody is is contributing to this. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I also like had some beers before I read it, so like, you know, because I wanted to brace myself for like what I was gonna read in this article. No, I was, I was at, I was at a, uh, I was at a party. Um, and I was fronging this entire fucking place, dude. I fronged the shit out of this party. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it was just... I was like, I'm here for the beer and reading articles about how millennials are killing sex on my cell phone. Thank you very much. Rah! Yeah, I'm a fucking asshole with my cell phone, dude. It's one of those things I gotta work on. It's one of those things I will absolutely, like, fucking chastise other people for doing it. But do it constantly myself. Good shit. I knew you had it in you, Doom guy. God, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, right, we get it. You're zombies. Jesus. Oh, that looks fun. Rune Trial. Use the combat shotgun to eliminate 15 imps before the timer expires. And if you fail the challenge, they delete your save file. I should have upgraded my... I did have... I had one upgrade, I think, Final Ferret. Alright. Increases the range you can... Sorb! Dropped items. Oh, we're not even close to doing this. Did I already fail it because I didn't use the shotgun? No, it works. I think I'm doing this. No! Stop moving! Sick round dodge, dude. Easier than the Bayonetta challenges. God, I'm still mystified at how I did fucking any of those. Heard it. I did it. Are you guys proud of me or what? Bubblecom says, TBH, avocado toast, better than sex. Yeah, it had all kinds of reasons why. Like, I don't, again, like, I don't remember ha half of them. It has to do with actually fronging. It has to do with technology. It has to do with people being distracted by, you know, fucking their cell phones and having all this easy access to media, like... 
you know, like the people come home and we're like, I, I, their argument is like 20 years ago, they would have came home from work and, the, and then fucked. But now they just, you know, they watch, they watch Netflix. I'm going to equip my rune. There we go. Also, weapon upgrades should happen. Can weapon upgrades ha happen? I want we weapon upgrades. Can weapon... Yeah. Yeah, I want that. Oh, I got seven of these now? Alright, I want that. And I want that. Fucking beans. Alright. So that'll be my next upgrade. I'm starting to think my keyboard is not well suited to gaming. It's an ergonomic keyboard and has like a big fucking weird stupid bulge in the middle of it. And, uh, I bought it to make it, like, easier on my, my wrist, because I have, like, you know, this fucking tendonitis in my wrist. It does nothing of the sort. All it does is just fucking doubles the amount of typos that I make. It makes me look like a fucking moron, because all the fucking keys are in abnormal places. I think I need one of those really cool, like, light-up fuck neon light Corsair gaming keyboards. That are, like, what? Fucking up 200 bucks. I got a new weapon. Well, look, my keyboard lights up. Nobody's seeing it. Hurry it. I got my boomstick. Well, the boomstick was the fucking shotgun, wasn't it? Why are you still alive, dude? Thank you. I squandered the ammo, didn't I? Yeah! Yeah, it's a very fun game when you're not... fucking hamstrung by shitty fucking controls, you know? Can I just... What are we doing here? Like, you want to come down here? Should I- should I come up there? Like... Stop pussyfooting around. Wow, well, pussyfoot. <laughs> That's my kick. Well, it shouldn't be. Now get the fuck over here and take your medicine. Squandered. Come on, you're taking too long to kill on Babby mode. The BY wants to know when Smash drops. Uh, like, it's like 20 days or, or something. I know that because there's a bunch of people uh, on Twitter who changed their fucking display names to Smash Brothers Ultimate Countdowns. Yeah, fist that box. Yeah, fist that box, good. 18 days, Gubbington says. Did everybody got their smash pants? Get your smash pants ready. I gotta get on that. Mine is still very crusty. Haven't smashed in a while. Just kind of let him sit crumpled up in the corner of the room. Probably loaded with centipede eggs by now. Excuse me. See, I think my favorite part of this game is that those glory kills heal you. It's for the pace. Like, they wanted the pace of the game to be constant, right? Like, they didn't want you maybe run running away to heal and, and things like that. They want you just muscling your way through a fucking horde. It makes for very fun gameplay. Fuck, I wanted to eat his soul. Now, I know there's all kinds of fancy shit that you could do with the glory kills that I'm not doing because I don't know how to do them. But, you know what? Don't, don't worry about it. Oh. 
And I also appreciate the way the game will automatically cycle through... Fuck. Cycle through the weapons as you run out of ammo and shit. So here's what it would look like if I was playing on Switch. <laughs> Why the fuck anybody would play an FPS without a mouse and, and a keyboard is... extremely beyond me at this point. Like, I have done it. It's... It's, you know, it's something I used to be able to do, um, and have a good time. I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I never want to do it ever fucking again, I'll tell you that. Sub Wolfie, free back to the baby. Thank you for the resub. Hi. I remember somebody in chat saying, uh, during the last stream that this is a game that they used to chill out and relax. <laughs> it's like, what's the part of it that's relaxing to you? The gore? The fucking intense... The intense fucking music? Like, what's the part that chills you out? Like, where's the, where's the part that, you know... ...lowers your anxiety instead of increasing it? The gory fucking... You, when you fucking just grab a demon skull and fucking rip it in half with your bare fucking hands? Carefully release the hinges. I could see getting your frustration out there. Destroying the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. Destroy the means of production. Doom Guy Marks, 2018. What do you fucking want me to do? Was there something that needed to happen in, in this room, or what? Was it this? No, that's bullshit. I don't, I don't get it. Alright, I guess I'm leaving. And I know that, Kale, because were you here for the last stream? It was fucking painful. It was... It, 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 it fucking sucked. Like, I was not having a good time. Well, I was having a good time in the sense of... I was getting to hang out with you guys. And, you know, act like an asshole. Which is my greatest pleasure in life, as you know. Alright. There's some greenish lights over here. This may be progress. Oh, this looks good, yeah. There's that classic Jabroni Mike gameplay of wandering around in circles for 45 fucking minutes. Didn't I, like, get an upgrade that eliminated the reload time for that fucking thing? What, what happened to that? Because that was still way longer than I wanted to wait. Gorgonite is going to bed. Have an awesome night. Thank you for coming to hang out. I appreciate that. Really? Hurry it! Falcon! Me! Alright, so I'm seeing uh, Master Mune bringing up the subtitles again. Um, so, so what? It, what is it that... Because you're not going to have subtitles for my, my voice. <laughs> so... You want subtitles for the game? Um, there's not a terrible amount of dialogue in the game, but uh, I will I will do it anyway. Um, subtitles. On. Boom. How easy was that? Oh, look at all this meat! I knew it would work. I knew he would be distracted by the meat. He's a simple man of simple pleasures. I could not help but express my admir meat ration for those hefty chunks. There's some good meat, boy. No! Some fucking prime cuts, dude. 
Where are you going? Mike plays video games on baby mode because he's a fake gamer. And he's a duty head. Fuck. No, it's just... I don't know. It's just fun. That and... Again, as for... <coughs> as a streamer... Um... For streaming purposes... I'd like to not sit here and die a thousand fucking times. And I think that makes sense. That makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you... You know where you could firmly place your tongue... And fucking, you know, very, very, very aggressively while ap applying a significant amount of pressure. Uh, you know, lick back and forth like a cat working on some hairballs. It is my taint, if that wasn't obvious. Teal Opal, back to the family. Thank you so much for the resub. All right, but now that I'm up here, like, so what? Oh, he didn't like that. Tell Fiona I love her. I will be doing no such thing. In fact, I'm going to go down to the, to the swamp, and I'm going to tell Fiona that you were cheating on her before you died. Deal with that. With a younger, hotter ogre. It's kind of fucked up, actually. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up! The hell energy is unusable without the filters. Warning. Energy contamination detected. Payload delivered. Fuck are you talking about? Did I get a payload? Apparently I got a payload. I, I can't has that gun. Well, I mean, like that's a gun that I already have, right? So that's technically an ammo drop. So if my ammo, if my ammo wasn't, oh, hi. Oh, you're new. Did I kill that thing? Oh, there's another one. Mewtwo, no! You've got... You've got to calm down. I don't think I'm damaging Mewtwo. There it is. That's Frieza. Yeah, more apt, more apt. I don't know why I went Mewtwo. Oh. So, <clears throat> I saw Vin the other night. And he was showing me a little bit of, uh... Pokemon's Let's Go Eevee. And, um... Boy, am I glad I didn't buy that game. Holy shit. Uh, there is, like, nothing to that. What you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. Unlimited power! Is it fun? I mean, I'm sure you could have some fun with it. I know Vin, Vin said he was, but it's like... There's no fucking wild Pokemon battles. And the way that you catch Pokemon is is just it's it's fucking just Pokemon Go. And they put that on a console and they thought that was fucking okay. And I guess it's the type of thing where I mean they're Yeah, Vin said they're trying to, you know, draw a new generation of, of fans into the into the franchise. Like they want to bring the Pokemon Go fans into the fucking, you know, the core franchise and it's like 
I don't know. Do we need them? Like, like, what if, what if we didn't? Like, call me crazy. What if, what if we just didn't? What if we didn't do that? All right, we have a meat stack. Oh yeah, time to go dentara, but not for nada. Get fuckled. Hurry it. He's alive. Interesting. Hi. Alright, I want the option to get in this fucking forklift and impale demons with these fucking things in the front. Is that something that you could do in this game? And if you say no, I'm uninstalling this shit right the fuck now. And I'm getting a refund for the game that I didn't buy. <laughs> I'm getting a refund, fuck that. Oh, I'm not supposed to be down here, am I? Oh. All right, so we need to be in the, in this door. Maybe in in here is it, is it this? This feels right. Hey, what's up? I know that there's still gym battles and there's still trainer battles and and, and shit, but it's like I don't know, man. He showed me the little bullshit fucking controller. <laughs> little pokey ball controller. Which fucking, you know, like, which which is obviously fucking made for fucking babies. This fucking game is, I, I think it's meant for like, yeah, like four-year-olds. And that controller, like, and don't forget, like, this is Vinny, like, his hands are small, like, as it is. They were still way too big for this fucking controller. Like, that's unheard of. Do whatever I want. Don't tell me what to do. Do whatever I want. Shark Butt says, Why you gotta put Vinny on bled? Dear Vinny! Mike said that you have small baby heads. I'd imagine he cares less about it than some of the people here do. <laughs> to say significantly less. <laughs> Actually, I can I can I can assure you of that. In case you're <coughs> in case you're gearing up to write to write an email to let him know about. <laughs> what a bad friend I am. Let me just stop you right there. He doesn't give a fuck. And he'd really prefer to not have that email in his fucking inbox. Hurry it! He really did GAF. Guys, I had a lot of fun streaming Mystery Dungeon the other night. I always have fun with Mystery Dungeon, but <coughs> that stream was very, very fun for me. I don't know if you could tell. Can you stop moving for like one second? Did that not... Isn't that supposed to lock on and shit? What is this? 
I think I'm missing something with this enemy. It was cathartic for me, Hager Traffum. Yeah, it was like a therapy session. <laughs> but you know what? So is this. I think I'm starting to get it. You know, just the flow of the gore and the violence and just... You know, it's like fucking... It's like poetry. It's, it's like... If stopping our energy production is what you want, then you need only to destroy this last filter. What's that song that's like... Like you could put that to fucking Doom gameplay and it'll it'll like it'll it'll work. Like it'll work really well, I think. We destroyed the energy supply. Yes, I do. I destroyed your energy supply. Olivia is still alive. I've detected her life signature at the Argent Tower. She has removed one of the accumulators from the tower base. It has a unique energy signature that we can track. It's got a unique well, big dick energy that's signature that you could see from There's space. Else to be done. Fucked up your power source. Now what? That's okay. They could find a new alternative source of energy. Turkey poop. I got some poop news for you guys tonight. Actually, two very exciting pieces of poop news. Pieces of poop news. This is the poop news segment of the of the stream. Um, and, and this time it's festive. It's festive news poop. Uh, scientists are saying that when when it's cooked under the right temperature, um, with the right amount of pressure. And, and other certain conditions, turkey droppings transform into a form of coal, which can fuel power plants and serve as a renewable resource. That's correct, turkey poop. This is similar to piss bricks. This is very... Chimpanzee, that poop those. Very similar to piss bricks, okay? Because they cook the poop into little bricks, and apparently, they have been using them. They've tested this. They power generators. And they're saying that, theoretically, this, these, these duty bricks could be loaded into, like, furnaces at power plants to power entire cities. Imagine it. Entire cities run on, on turkey poop power. The poultry power poop plant poop poop poor plants. <laughs> the poor plants of the future. So when they say coal is the future, it's not a meme anymore, provided that it's turkey poop coal. This is a I swear to you this is fucking real. I swear to you this is fucking real. Turkey poop <laughs> like coal like charcoal bricks that they're using to fucking they're putting in generators to power fuck to, to fuck make electricity. Now, this article was brought to my attention by malicious, maliciousness. Um, and Mal asked, if they're making charcoal from the poop, now this is where it gets really interesting. Is it then possible to turn that, that, that poop charcoal into diamonds? Theoretically, because if it is charcoal, that should be possible. Should that not be? Should that not be possible? Forget blood diamonds. <laughs> the new hotness is poop diamonds. Poop diamonds, yes. The new Leonardo DiCaprio film. Try proposing with one of those. <laughs> This is a beautiful ring, honey, but it smells. Why does it smell, honey? They'll call it pubic zirconium. <laughs> oh, 
A bird that shits diamonds. Turkeys are the new golden goose. Hager Traffic just says one word in the chat. Bed. It's just the... It's just, <clears throat> it's just the word bed. Just that's it. Nothing else. Bed. Turkey feces are forever, Cornwallis. No, well, the diamonds aren't fucking made from blood. They call them blood diamonds because they fucking, like, murdered people to get them. Dude, think about fuck turkey poop diamonds. You don't even kill the turkeys. Thrust boots. <laughs> Thrust boots. <laughs> yeah, jump off the jump into the abyss, Doom guy. No, do it. No, it'll be cool. No, do it. It'll be funny. Oh boy. Did I beef this? I'm thinking I beefed it. Oh, he's got some homing boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot I had this weapon. Someone said it was the dance of the sugar plum fairies. Or did my brain make that up? I think that fucking kind of music might work even better for this game than the metal. <laughs> Your classical fucking compositions like that. Can you stop jumping around? Fuck, he's annoying. That's a lot of damage. Fucking holy shit. The milk walker of demons. That's a lot of damage. Oh boy. He can stretch his arms out if he needs to. The first member of the Doom Guy crew. He could do a handstand. Whatever. Here's the other reason he left the fuck. He, he let the demons out. Because all the automation, you see that? God dang robots taking the god dang gerbs! And he wasn't gonna fucking stand for it anymore. Argent Energy, give yourself to the cause. Dude, am, 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 I, am I missing something? Because the fucking mission marker is telling me to come in this room. The locker? Oh, the boots. Right, I was instructed to get the boots, but I ignored that. Rake man. back to the family. Thank you so much for the result. By Elon Musk's team. Man, I fucking really struggling to care about that. All right, so we're going to use the boots... Uh, is this gonna kill me? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, C cool. Boot goofing. Well, I tried to go boot goofing and it was insta rip. I did hear about the Elon's Musk Whittler and it is stupid and bad and I hate it. I mean, imagine creating an entire product line based on wordplay. I would never do such a thing. By the way, I'm still looking for investors. If anybody wants to uh, go in with me on um, Butthole Gum, the ass-flavored bubble gum for gamers that also has, like, taurine and stuff, so it gives you energy. I'm not, like, I'm not getting it up there, perhaps? Like, 
Can you grab that ledge for me? No, no good. Okay, it, it works. It's just jank and bed. You must ascend. I can't grab that because there's shit there, I think. Oh, there's a challenge in there, dude. I want to do that. Or did I do that one already? I honestly have no idea. Oh, wait, wait. That's got to be how you get in. No, there's a window that you can't. Okay, no. Wait. Heard it. Galaxy brain. My greatest asset. <laughs> Eliminate 30 on willing. Before the timer expires. Oh, I'd like to get an ammo boost. Hell yeah. Oh, I told you there was more poop news. Because if you thought that was it. Oh boy. Oh boy, were you mistaken. This is very exciting poop news. Scientists have finally figured out why wombats shit cubes. Why, you didn't know that wombat shit cubes? Everybody knows that wombat shit cubes. That's common knowledge. Everyone knows this. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't know this before I saw the article, but the truth... The truth is that Wombat shit cubes. I'm gonna fail this. Where are the Zambos? Well, at least there's no penalty for losing. Brown Bricks indeed, Bacon, is my username. Whenever a Wombat poops... It comes out in a perfect geometric cube. Yes, not on like a Minecraft block. And for the longest time, biologists and scientists and poopologists had no idea why that was happening. But finally, somebody had had enough. They were like, we've gone, we've gone too long, not understanding the, I don't like this challenge, not understanding the mystery of the, of the wombat poop. And I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, obviously this animal has a square anus. So it's like a Play-Doh playset type of situation. It's just a square butthole. It ain't like that, dude. It ain't like that. It, you know, it's just like a regular butthole. Increasing the, the, the mystery here, right? So... Because that, that was my first assumption. But the article tells you qu pretty quickly. Nope, regular butthole. Not a square butthole. So, in the name of science... Okay, now, I, I had to copy and paste this this, this argument. Or this, this, this part of the article here. Because you, you you need you need to you need to hear this this sentence to get the full fucking gravity of of, of of what really went on here. Okay. Close inspection revealed that the wombat's excrement solidified in the last eight percent of the intestine, where the feces built up as blocks the size of long and chunky sh sugar cubes. By emptying the intestines and inflating them with long modeling balloons of the sort used to make balloon animals at children's parties. The researchers measured how the tissue stretched in different places. <laughs> hey kids, I'm Bones on the Cloud, and today we're going to figure out why wombats have cube poop. <laughs> <laughs> so these fucking scientists were sitting, <laughs> sitting around like making balloon animals with fuck like wombat duty and shit. Um, but it was in the name, you know, it was in the name of science. You know, it was, it was just, it was all in the name of science. But, but basically, it had the, the balloon animal balloons. Boggle, boggle. It has to do with stiffness in, in different parts of the intestine that other animals don't have. And they tried it with other animals and it didn't do the same thing. So that's how they finally, yeah, figured out this 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 mystery here. Um, 
you know, this pooper ducks, if if you will. Um, and the, this this was my favorite part. The way that this fucking yes, and on sixty nine seventy five. That's where I'm going with this. This is the way that this article ended with one of the scientists m- making the argument that this discovery will make for technological advances in the manufacturing industry. S- s- somehow, somehow, it has like industrial applications of, of, of some kind. But I'm thinking they just might regret, you know, playing around with wombat poop and, and balloons and intestines and stuff. Slightly. Maybe they, maybe they regret it a, a little bit. And they want to they ha- they have to justify the time spent and the taxpayer money spent in the pursuit of this utterly fucking useless knowledge. Am I missing something with this? Am I uh, am I missing something here? Like what am I what am I doing wrong? What's up, Nindroid? Yo, wait a minute. What did I just hop into? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, don't oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I think you want to go for two first. That's the trick. Okay, and where are the where are the the next zombies you want me to kill? Thank you. Oh god damn it. No! Fuck you. Oh, where are they? Fuck off! I'm ready to I'm ready to give up. This is my la- this is my last attempt. Good night, Octane. Thank you for coming. What happened? You couldn't handle this knowledge about wombat poop? This cursed knowledge? Fucking glory kill animations just fucking take too long, huh? Why didn't This is gonna go down the same way, I think. I'm not gonna be able to find those last remaining... Those last remaining zombies. Like, where are they? I'm done, I'm done, fuck this. I don't know where they are, it's, it's stupid. Did the fucking game just close because I pressed exit? The glory kills gives extra time. Well, well where, where, where were they? Like, where the fuck are the extra... I, I, I don't... I don't want it that bad to be why. Was it poorly designed static? Are you sure I'm not, I'm just not a fake gamer? Are you sure I'm just not a fake gamer, dude? You enjoy that factoid, Master Mune? I'm fucking a repository of factoids. I'm a, f- a total deposit suppository of factoids. Especially poop factoids. But imagine that. Perfectly cubed. <laughs> perfectly cubed doo doo. Were you able to do it, Nick? I don't believe you. In fact, I think you're just saying that, like, to be a dick. You didn't do it. I mean, it's not a matter of difficulty. It's a matter of where are the fucking remaining, what, like, three zombies? That I didn't see anywhere in the in the fucking challenge. Like, eat my ass. Just fucking consume my asshole. 
I'm gonna try going over here, I think. Alright, hold on. Green lights. Yep. Bueno, bueno, bueno. It's one of those things where, I mean, if I heard somebody tell me that out of nowhere, I'd have to look it up. I'd be like, no, that's impossible. There's no such thing as square poop. You're an asshole. So I don't blame any... I don't blame anybody who, who Googled that because they didn't fucking believe me. Like, I really don't. I don't take that personally. <clears throat> also, I'm known to make shit up from time to time. And that definitely, I think, sounds like something that, like, I would make up. But it, it is legit. OptiCore says Mike likes fingers in his ass. That is not relevant to anything, okay? Irregardless, irregardless of its truthiness or lack of truthiness, it is not relevant to anything being discussed here. The red lights are like, don't go this way, jerk off. I hear beps. Why are there beps? Oh, there we go. I thought I, I'm like, I'm not going to make that jump. What is this garbage? I thought she was a naked zombie. She really looks like an actress, and I cannot think of the name of the actress. Tilda Swinton. Is that Tilda Swinton? How- It's a fucking CGI fucking character model. How- How is it gonna be fucking Tilda Swinton? Oh, hey, what's up? Go back. Did I fuck up? Oh, I missed the weapon. It does feel like something Tilda Swinton might do, doesn't it, Pumpkin? I actually like her a lot. I think she's an awesome actress. I mean, this weapon blows. Well, it's another weapon to cycle through when I run out of ammo, right? Hurry it! Yeah, I meant to do that. It's the best weapon, the best gun. You mean the one that was pissing me off in that challenge just now? Oh, you gotta be close. I'm here to chew ass and suck on assholes. And I'm all out of assholes. I don't know what that means. It's probably better if you don't think about it too much. I just really enjoy this idea of, uh... <laughs> of ass chewing. And the fact that this isn't even the fucking game where that came from. Like, I am aware of that. Like, how many people thought I genuinely wasn't aware of that? It's not hard to believe, seeing as how I'm a fake gamer and shit. Oh. Fucking finally. I thought I was... Missing something about, like, the attack pattern. Maybe there was a point where that thing has vulnerability or something. But no, it just has that much HP. So, I mean, what's the deal in the higher difficulties? Did the fucking... Do these, do these things have more HP or what? Less ammo drops, maybe? Like, how do they actually up the difficulty? I feel like I asked that question and somebody answered it, but I don't remember their answer. I missed the purple orb that does quad damage. I want quad damage. 
Probably would have been helpful, right? Probably would have been helpful to have earlier, huh? Alright, well... I didn't. It is what it is. I should upgrade my weapons and shit, huh? The... Shotgun... Explosive shot... I can now... Purchase the bigger boom... And I think... Oh, you... Oh, you need to actually do a challenge if you want that upgrade. You can't buy it, motherfucker. Alright. So... Should I upgrade something else? The pistol? <laughs> nah, just kidding. I know not to do that. Um... The micro-missile thing, maybe? Well, they're not letting me upgrade a whole lot right now. Alright, so how about micro-missiles? Uh, ammo efficient. Uh, reload time, quick launcher... What do you think? Um... Ninjroid says, can we get cum missiles? I would... I, I, I'm happy to supply you with cum missiles. I don't know if that's real. Um, I feel like it's not. If that's a thing that you could do in the game, like, please let me know, because that sounds uh, delightful. Upgrade super chat. What the fuck is a super chat? What, what, is, what is it? What are you talking about? What is a super chat? Which one of these is super chat? Save for the rocket. Get Fleshlight attached. Come on, Hergatrafum. This is the, the Super Chat. I thought this was the Super Chat. Dizzy Shroom. back to the fame. Thank you for coming to hang out. I'm having a very good time with this game. So this is what they call the Super Shotgun. Okay, so you want me to... Oh, fuck it. Whatever. And here I am, squandering that quad damage. Just fill the shotgun with Sonic Curry. I was serious about that. I am gonna buy that shit. And I am gonna eat that, live on stream. It's gonna happen. Whether you like it or not. I'm gonna do some social eating. Hurry it! I didn't buy it yet. I'm also gonna buy clam decanes. I have this in my to-do list. DBZ fan doesn't know what Sonic Curry is. Oh, you will find out. Oh, don't you worry. You will find out in greater detail than you ever wanted. Alright. Something very complicated is going on here, no doubt. See, this is the super complicated, uh, high-tech red, red stuff accelerator. Uh, it's very, uh, technologically advanced. You, you wouldn't understand it with your small brain. Uh, see, what happens is we got red stuff being channeled up into more red stuff. What that does is it makes even more, uh, red stuff at a higher concentration. That's a gun! <laughs> Look at that jiggle physics, baby! <laughs> oh, he got gunted to death. <laughs> what did I do? I made him eat his own heart and then it exploded? That's a little fucking convoluted, huh? Why did his heart explode? Die! Alright, I'm gonna send some missiles directly into that fucking gunt. Lock and load. Light him up! Light him up! What's happening? 
just aim for the gunt. Like, that's the strat. Fuck. What's the... He looks like that character from Diablo as as a thought or whatever. That's fucking Lovecraft. <laughs> what the fuck is his name? The guy with the fucking nipple rings. I'm so glad I'm not playing this on normal mode. <laughs> It'd be so much less fun as Medan, Nefkin, yeah. Thank you. Again, I always like the thought of Asmodan, like, sitting in a fucking tattoo parlor or, or whatever. Like, he, wa he walks in, he's like, I want my nipples pierced! Just slides on in there and... sits down at the chair. Like, some fucking goth chick is sitting there, she's like, alright, I'll pierce your nipples for you, Mr. Asmodan, just to chill out. Just have to sterilize the area first a little bit. She's got like one of those like pixie cuts with like the half shaved head. And like a bunch of Betty Boop tattoos and shit. She's fucking sitting there like putting like those fucking like wet wipes. Those sterilization wipes on Asmodan's fucking nipples. She needs like a fuck to get on a ladder to do it because he's big and shit. She shaves them a little bit, gets the hair out of there, you know? Oh, uh, and then she just fucking... You know, rams the little rod through his big fucking demonic nipples. And he doesn't, like, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't scream out in pain, but he does go... Like, he sucks air in through his teeth, because, you know, it does, it does hurt, like, a little bit, you know, even for him. Fuck, I missed another fucking orb, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's dead! Oh, thank God I have it for this kunk. There we go. <coughs> I am still squandering it, though. God damn it. Where the fuck did he go? Dude! Hurry it! Okay, Mr. Hasmadan, all done. He leaves her a nice tip because he's, you know, he's not that big of an asshole. But then he does the no-no. He he's like, so you wanna you wanna hang out, get some coffee and stuff, you know? He's like, I'm at work. Like, why why you gotta why you gotta hit on me at work, Asmadan? Come on. This is my job, Asmodin. I just really want a goth GF. What can I say? I don't think I've taken it nearly fucking far enough. No, this hasn't gone nearly fucking far enough. Not, not even remotely far enough. Guys, I don't understand what's what's happening. Like, I want this to go up, and it, it's going down. Like, what, what is this garbage? Hager Traffic says there's at least another th <laughs> three hours of material here. Listen, I have to fill an entire stream, okay? I, have, I need to milk these things for every fucking last drop. Mike, be patient. So just sit here? Oh, I wasn't on the... Oh, I was on the wrong... Okay. I mean, it's a nipple story. Like, it has to... Like, <laughs> if, if anything is gonna be milked... It's a nipple story.
shut up before I rupture your ass. Yep. You got a P factoid, Mass Immune? What? No, that's disgusting. Get out of here. P factoids. See, that's what taking it too far looks like, people. That's what taking it too far looks like. Do I want to be in here? I'm thinking I might maybe not not want to be in, in, in here. Here it comes. The sweet release of death. I kind of figured I was going to be able to, like, get in that little, um... That little cubby hole there. Maybe I... <coughs> maybe I needed to crouch. <coughs> and the game minimized? Why did that happen? Oh, they put you right in front of it, thank God. There we go. I knew that I had to do that, but I figured it'd be it'd be funny if if I got smushed a little bit. Static thinks I'm lying. Shut up, Static. I never lie. Can you die, please? Fuck. Hi, can I help you with something? Where the fuck is he going? Do you see the way he was skipping like that? Oh my god. It's like he finally worked up the balls to like ask out this this girl he's been crushing on. And she said yes. <laughs> he's just skipping along happily. But they never got to go on that date. Kinda sad. Get bubbled! Bubbles in your ass. Which you too can experience with the fresh, new, exciting flavor of bottle gum. Available at a reputable games retailer near you. You need to fuck off a little bit, dude. Like, God. Then give me some space. Let me miss you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, man. Squandered. Hurry it. I wanted you to grip. Well, that was fun. What's this shit? I mean, it totally looks like something I can interact with, but there's no there's no prompt. Wait, there's a thing up there. Oh, there's the orb that gives you like 50 times damage that I should have used at the beginning of the fight. Oh, it's a vulnerability that I didn't use in the in the fight. Wow. Cool. Good. Really, really good. Alright, so this door opens, but hold on a minute, because there's green shit. What is this shit? Is this anything? It may be related to this. It, in fact, is related to this. 
fuck and just, yeah, release the hounds. You missed it too, Makoto? Yeah, it's, it's easy to miss. Alex, ramp back to the family. Thank you, three sub. Uh, health again, why not? It served me well this thus far. Shut up. All right, so I think we've got to get to the other side of the room and deactivate the other one now that the doors are open. Or something to that effect, I think, maybe. No? What is going on here? I should have got over here really quickly and jumped behind that and <laughs> jumped into that little cubby hole. This is the room that I was just in. I must descend. Uh, uh, oh. How obtuse. Well, like, is it gonna go back up? I'm, I'm so fucking confused. I, I have no idea what the fuck is happening. It is going back up. Ergain says, hi chat, sorry to barge in, but I need a name for a gun in a game. Any suggestions? Um... Mr. Comsworth. Yeah! Cock! Mr. Comsworth. The third. I want the third, though. Mr. Mister Comsworth. No. Sir Comsworth. He's a knight. Sir Comsworth with Ro a Roman numeral three. Are you serious right now? Are you- is this fucking real? What what is even happening? Like what is this supposed to be? Like what the fuck? Like what is this? It's really complicated red stuff science. You wouldn't understand, you know. It tech shit, right, yeah. This is the uh, tachyon field dampener. And what it's doing is it is uh exchanging tachyons. Uh, with the flux capacitor. I don't think I can make that. Like, can I make... Oh, thank God. Hurry! To get to where, though? Oh. But that explains that. Thank God for these green lights. Holy shit. <laughs> It'd be fucking hopeless without them. Am I falling for real? Okay, I am. I am. Alright, so now we gotta wait for this to happen again. Well, it's happening over there. I mean, maybe... No, we're in, no, we want to be on this. Okay, I got confused. There's some gift subbing uh, happening. JMO, thank you. OMD, orchestral maneuvers in the dark. I love that band. Pigeons uh, everywhere. Also, back to the family. Thank you, guys. B bed. No, that's what we wanted to do. I kind of hate this right now. You had surgery, pigeons. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. I'm going to do everything I can to uh, put a smile on your face here tonight. Unless, of course, it was like some kind of mouth surgery where smiling would be painful. In which case, I definitely don't want to do that. So, let me know if that's the case. 
And I will try to be even more on funny than I usually am. Which is gonna be like real hard, but I'll try. Alright. It's an automated power plant. The lifts transport fuel from the reactor. It's just. I liked it better when it didn't make any sense and was stupid. Bubblecum is worried that the people on Twitter that follow uh, her are going to be on following when they see the weird art that she makes for this channel. I was kind of hoping I could get him to electrocute himself. Oh, he's too, this one's too smart. I was about to get pissed. This is the game, the gamer goo factory. Shut up! I'm thinking about turning off all the, uh, like the VA for the enemies. Like it's just, it's, it's, it's too irritating. I turn the mic off too, if you guys are finding my. Brilliant, witty commentary irritating as well. Which I know a lot of you do. Yet still somehow, for some reason, come to the channel. Oh, hello! I would love if there were subtitles for myself. But if it's something like YouTube's automated subtitles, probably not. Well, you saw it in the subtitles that was right there. Mike said, I love Hitler. It's right there, you can see it. Go watch the VOD. I said I have to take a shit lure. Didn't say I love Hitler. Ah! Mike said he eats he eats babies, it's right there. No, I said I have rabies. It's really unfortunate. Meat. It's what's for dinner. I love doing things over. Did that fucking thing go between his legs and explode behind him? That's that's real. That really happened. Hurry it. Took off a chunk of dick with it. It's true though, sometimes dicks can be a liability, you know. How many fellas here have Accidentally, like, crushed one of their nuts while, like, trying to just sitting down. Just sitting down. Speaking of which, it's International uh, Men's Day. Still waiting for uh, for people to wish me a, a, ha a happy Men's Day. No one did it yet. 
because you're a sorry excuse for a mad Mike. Yeah, I know. Ha ha ha. Happy Man Day. I I need to. F oh, I see what has to happen here. Okay. It's good. You know, it's good. You know, I I I I appreciate men. Men, good work on being men. Here's to another full year of being men. No! You know, I, I am. I am a man, even though, you know, um, sometimes the girlish, the girlish shrieks that come out of my body may lead you to believe otherwise. Um, you know, it's good. I'm pretty happy with it, being a man. Um, and I, I'm not, I don't mean like social issues or any of that shit. I mean it in like a very, like a very practical sense, you know? Like no, like pregnancy, that's not a thing I think I, I, I would look forward to. Uh, you know, the menstruation thing, that's, that doesn't sound like fun to me. Um, having a dick is, 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 is fun, you know, pee anywhere you want, anytime you want, that's the, that's the biggest fucking bonus right there, like, just being able to pee, like, at, it's the season for writing things in the snow with your pee, it is upon us, and you better believe I'm gonna be doing it. The national pastime. Oh. Man, I'm so happy I get to kill this motherfucker for the third fucking time. I was just, I enjoyed it so much the first two times. Fuck off! I mean, I'm sure you know, like... Vages are fun. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm. I'm sure they are. You know. But it's like. I don't know. I have a butthole. That's like basically. It's like basically the same thing. So you know, if that ever becomes an issue, like there's that. You know. <laughs> oh man, what what am I saying, right now? Grab that lunch. Oh. Oh. I'm also lazy, and I I would not want to go through any of like the beauty stuff. You know, I learned that. Um, especially shaving. You know, I hate shaving my face. But my entire body, like the like like armpits and legs, like whatever, like I, I, no, I I would be at the head of that movement to like fucking just, just smash down like the fucking societal image of beauty. I'd be leading the charge. I'd be doing it out of, out of sheer fucking laziness. I'd be doing it just out of not wanting to fucking. There's gift subs. Hold on a minute. Pokecat, thank you so much. Gravy Hammer, The Babo, Shade 75, Melonin, and Edimac. Back to the family. Welcome to the family. Thank you, Pokecat. True Re Review has created a new Sonic OC, Mike Darun. Mike Darun. And hold on. Todd Sama. Welcome to the family. Thank you for the sub. All right, so we do have a challenge here. A manly men challenge for men. And I'm dead. That was awesome. What the fuck happened? Oh, you have to use the explosive barrel. Whoops. Zed Tom. Feel bad for the family.
What is happening? I clicked start challenge. Why didn't it fucking... It didn't select the start challenge. Men, 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 menly men. You know that fucking show, Two and a Half Men? That, 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 that theme song where they just say men over and over? It makes me want to fuck, like, just launch the fucking remote control through the fucking television. No, I want to do the challenge. Why is this hard? I, I fucking hate it. Like, my mom watches it, and I'm like, turn that the fuck off. Menly men men. That Those are the lyrics, Shostafield. Menly men men. Menly is not a word! This is like one of those um, Mario Galaxy challenges. Where you have to explode, like, like destroy all the garbage or, or whatever before time runs out. This is fucking impossible. Holy shit. Menly men men. Fuck you. Come over here. You gotta, you gotta bait him. He wasn't in the fucking blast radius. And I killed myself because I was in the blast radius. This is dicks. Amtrak is selling. Thank you so much. Why is this hard? Come over here. God, that was fucking easy. <laughs> Probably was the wrong weapon to be using, Ferret. Yeah. Manly men men drum roll. Nah, he says menly. It's probably. The point is, it's fucking stupid, and I hate it. And that's, that's what matters. That's the take home from all this. So what was that? E increases effectiveness of equipment items? What do they mean, e e equipment items? What are they talking about? What are equipment items? Like, what fuck are they on about? The rune is useless. I, I, I forgot I had grenades, pumpkin spice... That's what they're talking about. I, I don't even know how to use grenades. I have no idea how to use grenades in this game. Alright, man. Well. Fucking now what? Was that challenge the only reason I, I came in here? No. No. Middle mouse button, Bubba Fair? It is middle mouse button, Bubba Fair. Good shit. Way to use your brain there. So the challenge was the only reason. So now I have to get back out without getting smushed. Okay, I think this is a new area for me. It is. Good shit. And now, uh... Go fuck myself? That was the only reason to be up here? Fortnite was on Big Bang Theory. Opticore says, hey, that makes me want to be dead. Can you not say things like that in my chat room, please? Thank you. Can we have a timeout on Opticore for bringing up the fact that Fortnite was on Big Bang Theory, please? Thank you, chat. Mods, thank you. I, 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 don't, I don't know where to go again. The, the fucking game is obtuse. I guess just backtrack. 
I think this is one instance where shooting the messenger is the only fucking correct course of action. Don't time him out. I'm joking. Uh, if that wasn't obvious. Fuck, gamers. You're so silly with your Fortnite and your ass eating. Does anybody know the way to progress in, 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 in this? Because I feel like backtracking is not correct. Like, does anyone know where to where to be? Like, how to... Anyone? Chat, chat, please. I love you too, Duck Butter. That's really cool to say. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Even this one, where I said all the fucking revolting shit that I, that's come out of my mouth. Just keep going up. I can't go up anymore! I've upped more than I can. That made no sense. Just go up! I can't get possibly any more upper than I've already been. It's right there. It's, it's, it's right, it's right here. Okay. Gotta work on being a little bit more observant when I'm streaming. Because I'm looking at the chat. I'm thinking about the Big Bang Theory. It is just... It's very distracting to, to fucking be live on Twitch, okay? We've been over this. That sounds like Tilda Swinton! Guys, is that- is that re that- Guys, I, that- that's gotta be Tilda Swinton. It's Tilda Swinton. Is it Tilda Swinton? Om Seal, can you just fucking confirm whether or not it's Tilda Swinton, please? Tilda Swin- The voice actress! The fucking- I just came from here. No! Whatever. Dead. D-E-D -D, dead. Tilda Swift isn't real. Her name is Tilda Swinton, D Dingo. Who the fuck is Tilda Swift? Did I say Tilda Swift? Here's what you're supposed to do. I, I, I think, I think. All right, I'm the elevator repair man. All right, I'm here to fix your elevator. All right. I will do the duties your husband <laughs> cannot perform. However, I will not go dentata. For nada. That's never going away, chat. I want you to know that meme is fucking eternal. Go back to that shaft and shoot the red lights. Is that fucking serious? Oh my fucking god, I never would have figured this out. Not a bad idea. I mean, Hell's probably got a lot of like, um, you know, petroleum and stuff, natural resources, shale deposits, natural gases. This is not the end. Somebody get BP on that shit. Well, after the last oil spill, you guys told us to go to hell. Well, we took you a little bit too literally. And the best part of plundering hell for its natural resources is... There's no cute animals down there, just a bunch of gnarly demons. So the environmentalists will have nothing to bitch about. Four, three, two, 
I'm dropping frames a little bit over here with this. When do you die, though? Fuck, they got a Category 4 Dimensional Event going on here. Which I have to imagine is a bad time. Oh, that was a scripted loss? Bump up the difficulty, Gubbington says. Bump up the difficulty. <laughs> yeah, right! Especially not now that we're getting to, like, the big boy part of the game. I guess we're going into hell here. Yeah. Large scale fracking in hell. He is, here. is it the fucking bad guy from Inspector Gadget? Brown bricks? No, we're not talking about the wombats poop anymore. We've moved, we've moved past that. Daddy's home. Wonder if I should have paid attention to that instead of picking my nose. Which is what I did during that dialogue scene. You think there was anything important in there? Nah, probably just a bunch of useless lore bullshit. Oh, there's a challenge. Um, excuse me, BP. Uh, you can't, you can't drill for natural resources in hell. Because there's an endangered species of tree down there. There's not a lot of them left in hell. Fucking die! Those trees are made from the souls of the damned. Which is a precious, limited, endangered resource. Go, go, gadget vibrator. What the fuck is this? Oh, I missed the weapon? I'm an asshole. Oh, the ass cannon! I got the ass cannon! I'm here to chew bubblegum and blast ass. Oh, the ass blaster is shrunk. Daddy likey the ass blaster. Gotta stop referring to myself as daddy. It's a, it's a little weird. Definitely make people uncomfortable. What am I looking at here? This is like the hell version of a tauntaun. Luke Skywalker spent the night in here. And I thought they smelled bad too on the outside. What's up, bitch?
It's a good thing he killed that Tauntaun before he said that, because I feel like that would have really hurt its feelings. So, I guess progress is down here, perhaps? He's alive. Fuck you. We found it. The legendary storied fountain of Gamer Girl P. Right where the ancient texts said it would be. Oh god, it's glorious. It's green. It's green. Should be Gaber Goat. That should have been. That should have been the. The. <laughs> that was the correct meme to go to for that. As it was foretold, it shall come to pass. Yep. Yeah, it, it is. Kind of, look, it's like man trees. I was right. Look, it's a man tree. You guys are disrupting the last known habitat of the endangered man tree. It's kind of fucked up. She would do that. Well, I got nothing. What the fuck do they want? Oh, here we go. Nope, I came from here. The obtuseness is real. No, wait. I think this is new. This is new. Oh no! Gunters! Oh fuck, fire Gunter. What are you doing? We just want you to pierce our nipples! Come on, you don't gotta be like this! Gunt down. I repeat, gunt down. I'm not obtuse. That's not nice. Todd Sama. Oh. Come on, I'm not obtuse. Alright, I'm a little obtuse. Am I getting- Oh, I'm getting conked. Fuck, I didn't even realize that was going down. Bed. It was that demon's last day before retirement. Oh, that killed him? That worked? Fuck you. All right, I'm gonna grab this health drop. Grab this armor. We've got to get inside there. And I think we just got to clear the area. I think this is the last guy. It's not the last guy. That's got to be the last guy. Sucks that I can't blame my shitty aim on the fucking Joy-Cons anymore. Or the, it, was the, it was the Pro control, uh, Pro Controller, actually. Oh, there's two. The douchebag duo. Hurry! 
should be it. Man, it's a good thing Hell works the exact same way that the Mars Space Station does, you know? Otherwise, things would be complicated. It, it shouldn't, but I understand it's a video game. Oh, we got some... some church choir shit going on here, which is an odd choice for Hell. Green lights. Alright, we have to consult the map. So apparently behind me is a new area. That I haven't been to yet. I guess you're gonna open now, is that... Open sesame? Wargy. Good night, Grand Lovers. Thank you, uh, for coming. Master Mune says there's lore about your character in this level. It's badass. Please listen to it when you get to it. Okay, I will. You need a yellow skull. Again. Hell should not have the same fucking mechanics as the Mars Space Station thing, but okay. So let's see if there's any indication of where that yellow thing is on, on this map. And, shocker, there isn't. I mean, what, like, what do you, like, was I supposed to pick it up and I didn't? Did I walk past it? Like, what the fuck happened? It's a throwback to classic Doom. Yeah, I don't know anything about Doom. Uh, I didn't play those games. Um, wasn't something that, uh, that I had when I, when I was a kid. Obviously, they were very popular games, big part of a lot of people's childhoods. But, um, you know, that wasn't my speed. My speed was like, yes, virtual pets. Played a lot of Babby games as a kid. That has not changed. Alright, so we're just looking for that yellow skull. I see a blue skull in there. Uh, okay, a blue skull skull door. All right, it's on the lowest level back where I hit the switch. It's over here. Okay, thank you, Sapphix. I, I I appreciate that. Now this is the lowest level, and the switch is right here. But that yellow skull isn't anywhere in sight. Across the way from the hole. Oh! There's a word that I want to use for that. Um, I've used it a lot tonight. I don't want to use it again because... I don't want to, you know... Overuse it and reduce the words magic. Words have power. You must use them responsibly. Right? I think you all know what this word is. So there shouldn't be any need for me to say it. Whittler, thank you for gifting us up. Sapphix, feel to the family. Thank you, Saf um, Whittler. It's Lab Tooth. All right, so I got an upgrade dealio. Haven't upgraded my shit in a while. Should probably do that soon. Was Gadget, Inspector Gadget. The path of perpetual torment. In his ravenous hatred, he found no peace, and with boiling blood, he scoured the umbral plains, seeking vengeance against the Dark Lords who had wronged him. He wore the crown of the Night Sentinels, and those that tasted the bite of his sword named him. 
edgy. Guy sounds like kind of an edgelord. Not gonna lie. There you go. That's the Doom Slayer. Um, is it a like reference to the previous games in the in the series? Is is it? Oh, they call them the Doom Slayer. No, I think the Doom Slayer appeared. So he was just kind of like a a douche who needed some anger management therapy. Must be horrible. Can't imagine what that's like. Constant insatiable rage. Snackalope is wondering what his favorite food is. Tell you what it isn't. Sour Patch Kids breakfast cereal. You know how you always wanted a Sour Patch Kids breakfast experience? Man, Sour Patch Kids are a great candy. But they'd be even better if they were in cereal form. You know how you always thought that? You know how? This was a thing that you always desperately wanted to the point where you made blood sacrifices to Satan to make it happen. Well, that all paid off. Because now General Mills is going to be offering a Sour Patch Kids breakfast cereal. This is a real thing. Apparently, they taste like fruity pebbles, but sour. Now, you might be asking why. The answer, of course, is America. Bubblegum is better than not eating candy in cereal form in 2018. Sour Patch Kids cereal. Part of any growing Doom Slayer's balanced breakfast. This is a little scary. I should have upgraded my shit. Right in his fucking brain. Where the fuck is this enemy? It, it doesn't work. I tried to Dragoon him. Insufficient fuel. Low health. I don't like that. No! Hurry it! Oh, that was barely anything! They're alive! No! I guess I'm doing all that over again, huh? Bubblecom says America has the best cereals. Not anymore. It's dead on easy ace meter, yeah. Cool. 
I feel like not enough people pointed that out. Does anybody else want to point out that I died on easy mode? I was trying to do a melee attack! And Gubbington wanted me to raise the difficulty. See, if this was- if I was watching this stream, I would have left. I would have been like, I don't want to watch him do all this again. I'm leaving. I'm taking out that bitch first. I actually, I don't think I am. They're not going to let me. Shut up! God damn it. Well, I put some damage on it for later. How did that miss? Get the fuck over here. Fuck you. Oh, there's another one. God damn it! Where the fuck did he go? What is he doing? I'm back here, dude. Fuck over here. Yeah, I despise having to do things over. It's one of my least favorite things. And that is another reason why... I'll play a game on easy mode. Give me that HP. Now I know. Hating having to do things twice. Yet having gaming as a hobby. Might seem a little strange. But the truth is, and I've said this. I'm not this terrible at video games when I'm offline and not streaming them. I wanted the fucking HP from that. Fucking spit roasted. Namachar, feel back for the family. Thank you. Let me reset. There it is. Ace Meter says you can kill those knights in one hit with the super shotgun. I should be using that fucking thing, huh? All right. Well. It took way longer than it would have for any normal person, but I was able to clear this area. Can I have that? No. I'm full up. And we're treated with that delightful... A delightful Gregorian chant from Hell's Children's Choir. One of the best around. I wonder if they're going to make me kill all those enemies again. Well, they have to perform well in the choir or they get fucking tortured for eternity. They sing good or get put in like some kind of twisted Iron Maiden thing for fucking centuries. 
You would sing well too. Aqueous Ablution is saying about the lore thing. It's implied that you, the Doom Slayer, might be the Doom guy from Doom 64 who at the end of the game chose to stay in hell and fight demons for all eternity to prevent another <coughs> invasion, which obviously didn't work because of this game. Yes. So why was he in a fucking like a, a stone coffin then? What was what was that about? Surprise! I made it to the cocksucker convention. I teleported. Better late than never. And that's how you get the blue one. Good shit. Stone Coffin was the only thing that could stop his, ang his anger, Ramco says. Did they try anger management therapy? Like, did they, did they attempt it? Or was it just straight to Stone Coffin for eternity as a solution? What about pottery? Did they try pottery? I hear pottery can be very therapeutic. What the fuck is that? Was that? A cackle demon. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful and cute. Oh, I love him. He's like the thing from Monster Rancher. Except a little more dentata going down. They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I say that beholder is a beautiful thing to behold. Guys, is there R34 of the of the Kaka Demon? Asking for a friend. That article I was talking about earlier as to why people are having less sex actually blames R34. And porn in general. Excuse me? D do the melee attack. Why couldn't I do the melee attack? Oh, fuck. Fuck over here. He fucking annoyed me, that guy. Hurry it. It does it actually doesn't blame mill millennials. Oh no! The Vor! It's real! I don't have time for that. Give me the health. I'm out of ammo for every for every weapon. 
I can't change to the super shoddy because I press Q and it doesn't cycle to it. There must be another menu that I wasn't aware of. Yeah, I can't cycle to it. What you're seeing me cycle to is is what I can cycle to. Hold Q. Thank you. Bubblecum is saying I'm having a real pro gamer moment. Hey, Bubblecum, I played this fucking game on two different pla platforms with like 16 different fucking controller layouts. Can I- can you cut me some fucking slack, please? Yuck, yuck, it's Knuckler! Why the fuck was that even called Knuckle- Knuckle Mode? Like, what the fuck was it called Knuckle Mode for? And why am I so annoyed by it? Fuck. I'm getting pissed. I think you guys are gonna have to lock me in a fucking stone coffin for eternity. Blue door. What's up, Xenon? What is this overlay? What overlay? What giraffe? Why does everyone keep coming in here and asking me about a giraffe? So I'm now at max health. Oh, sounds like somebody needs to shut the fuck up over here. Now that's what I call pod racing. Pod racing is in fucking hell where it belongs. Guys, is it okay if the pod racing was my favorite part of the prequels? Which I know is insane a lot, but it actually was. over here. Was it everyone's favorite part, Ivan? It was the only remotely interesting, fun-to-watch part of the entire fucking prequel trilogy. I am H-O T-B-H You think he'd try shooting at me, but guess not. Maybe that's the difficulty right there? Gunt from side to side. Oh, God damn it. Not that. Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that shit? I want the HP. Alright, let's do that super shoddy thing. And see if it's all the fucking... the rage. Let's see if it's as big of a fucking deal as you all are making it out to be. Bring it. 
<laughs> oh, he hurts. Good times. The thickest boys, Static. The thickest boys. Well, shit. Uh... Green lights? I see some green lights. Way the fuck over there. Uh... I'm not making that, am I? I am! Oh, thank you, John Doom guy. Oh, you're so good. But... Oh, shit. Okay. There's a green light up there. That I can't get to. DBZ fan, the name of this track is Requiem for a Doom Guy. The Reckoning of the Requiem. First Movement. Part 1. In the Asses of Angels. Redux. Well, I got nothing. The rock in your brain is made of lead aqueous solution. I don't know why you're saying that. It, it, it is not a very obvious way to go. Oh, look. Look what's down there. Look what's look what's down there. I'm aware that I'm backtracking. I'm just trying to figure out where, where, where to go. I'm trying to get, like, the lay of the land. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you guys, like, just fucking chill? Oh, oh my god. Like it's just, no, it's not immediately obvious to me where to go. If that makes me some kind of fucking moron, then so be it. Okay, here we go. Open door. Those things remind me of that game, Dev Devil Daggers. Which looked... kind of fun. If not extremely infuriating. And stressful. Never got to check that one out. Wandered. No, honestly, I think I'm happy that I didn't raise the difficulty. Oh shit, you know what? I should try face rig um on this on this setup. Whittler, yeah, I should. I haven't yet. That really... I thought it was lava, but it's just... It's just blood. Though it may contain pathogens. Vec TV says that the face rig would make the stream easier to jerk to. Give you something to focus on. I need you. I need you dead. Can you be dead, please? Can Thank you. Move.
Again, it went between his legs. Ripped off one of his Blastoise cannons. Oh, look! Haste. Probably would have been helpful. Again. Well, I mean, they're hiding them. They don't want them to be obvious. Although that first one, I will admit, was painfully fucking obvious. And it's being squandered again. Well, wh where is the where is the demon? Ploptipus would really appreciate if I used the super shotgun instead. Okay. What happened? I, I ran out of ammo that, that quickly? Why did it change weapons? God is the demons. Alright, how about I upgrade my shit instead of being an asshole? I get 20 direct hits on imps. I haven't even come close to fucking getting that. Alright, so how about... Uranium coating. Shots penetrate through targets. Actually feels kind of squanderous. Uh, micro missiles. Ammo efficient, we got that one. Uh, advanced loader. Quick launcher. Uh, what do you think I should upgrade? The ass blaster? I don't... Oh, here's the ass blaster. The ass cannon. It's locked. It's not letting me upgrade anything. So I can't upgrade the ass blaster. Um... You need the robot guy if you if you want to upgrade the ass blast. Okay. So in the meantime, then I mean, what can I do? Because I'm having a hard time here. I'm dying and shit. So I want to upgrade something. But I haven't seen that fucking robot in a while, actually. Ammo efficient. Uh, let's upgrade this a little bit. And I'll sit no. And I'll save the rest for, um... Oh, look at all the goodies in here. Don't mind if I do! I'll save the rest of the points for the next thing I can upgrade. Bladder capacity so we can store more game of grumpy! Dog of ice and fire. Slaves of doom with barbarous cruelty, for he passed through the divide as none but demon had before. Good night, Ninja. Thank you for coming. G uh, George R. R. Martin uh, released a new book that's not the next uh, fucking Song of Ice and Fire book. He wrote like another one of those history books of Westeros. Which, I don't know, might be cool. Like, I, I, I liked the last one a lot. The one with all the illustrations in it. It's actually really fucking awesome. I, I quite enjoyed that book. But I don't think this one is gonna have I I illustrations. I mean, maybe it is cool, but I obviously would much rather prefer the next installment of the, of the book series. Especially since there's, like, fucking, there, there, there's, like, two more that he has to publish after that. <laughs> I mean, again, the guy could do whatever the fuck he wants, but, you know, like, I love that story, and I'd really like to, I'd really like to see the, the, those books. Um, again, I'm not gonna do that thing that he hates, that he specifically said that he hates, where, yes, uh, Bubblegum, and 
Saffix. Where people are concerned about his health, like, oh, you're gonna die before you finish this. He doesn't like when people say that, so I'm not gonna say it, but... I am gonna say I'd really like to see the rest of that fucking series, just... B -b -b before I die? Can I see it before I die? How about that? Can I say that? Someone in chat said it was nice of someone to light all these candles in here. Yeah, what do you think they got going on? Like, Yankee Candle? You think they got some... Vanilla scent? What do you think they're doing down here in hell? Like, what's the most hellish, hellish fucking Yankee Candle scent fragrance? Well, it's getting close to Christmas. They might have some, like, cinnamon and peppermint and, and you know... Clam Decane's flavor candles. But... But said did... I don't know. I didn't see a lot of gamers down here in hell. Even though this is where we clearly fucking belong. But scented candles from Grody Gamers. Thank you. Lavender. That'll help with Doom Guy's rage issues. Lavender scented candles. All right. It's a piss bounce pad. Cool. There he is. What are you doing here, by the way? Oh, well, I was a serial philanderer. Did a lot of shitty things uh, before I died. It's a very bad robot. Very, very bad robot. I belong here. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um. So we can upgrade... The Ass Blaster. A powerful beam that penetrates targets. He went to hell before he died, John Space Marine. Well, there's Robot Hell. Bubble cum. If you trauma taught us anything, it's that Robot Hell is real. The Siege Cannon is a must-have, Parappa says. Alright, let's do it. Fuck it. Again, like, why... Why you gotta be like that? Can I upgrade another one? You just- you just get one and that's it every time you see the robot? Well... I got the cannon. Alright. Let's take this bad boy for a fucking test drive. Oh, you can't move while you're doing this? Oh, another big boy. Are they attacking each other? It's Diablo, Lord of Hell. Lord of Terror. Oh, he's just got fucking, yeah, anger issues as well. Did you see him fucking attacking those those lesser demons? Calling them nerds? He was calling them nerds, you heard that? That's not cool. RIP! That's that four times orb. God bless it. And it's over. Right when I fucking needed it! Oh no! Minty green energy balls! My breath is fresh enough right now, I promise. Like that aim. That's very fun. Had to shut him down. He got a little too horn knee on main. Can this stop, please? Thank you so much.
Oh, fuck. I like it how it was at the last fucking possible second where I could have used that that times four damage. It fucking dissipated. Oh, Lord, is he coming? Oh, and he had a friend. He's leading the shots. That or I'm fucking stupid. Probably both. Yeah, good. Should have went behind him so I could see a different one. I got a weapon upgrade point. Give me all the all the things. I want all the things. Give me all all this. Yes. Do you think the new Smash Brothers is gonna have a fuckload of like the Gregorian chanting? It always did. For some reason. They use choirs in the in the soundtrack, I guess, to make it more epic. Yes, there's nothing more epic than fucking Jigglypuff duking it out with the fucking Ice Climbers. Definitely calls for some fucking, you know... <laughs> like Latin fucking choir chanting, yeah. Alright, we got like a little meat pile going on here. Good shit. You know how I feel about that. You know what? Hell's not so bad, man. I'm backtracking. Hell's all right, you know? Like, I'm in the market for, um... You know, a fucking retirement home. I'm looking for a place to retire. Uh, I don't mean an actual retirement home. I mean buying a house... ...in a place with, you know, weather that's gonna be easy on my joints. Do they have bingo night in hell? It's got good year-round weather. It doesn't snow or anything dumb like that, you know? The neighbors might be demons. But you know what I always say? Hell is truly... ...other people. That's the real hell. Does it have free Wi-Fi, Vulpix? Oh, look at this. Yeah, why are they fighting each other? W will they kill each other if I just let that happen? I feel like hell might be the new Florida. You know, old people from New York are gonna need a, a new place to retire to. Nice. After fucking Florida just completely sinks under the fucking ocean in like two years. They're gonna need a new place to send all their fucking old people. Why not hell? Alright, I'll use the shotgun again that I apparently ne never have ammo for. Why did you guys stop beefing with each other just because I'm here? Did that enemy fall off the edge? 
Sick dodge, bruh. Yeah, I switched to that weapon and then immediately ran out of fucking ammo for it. I'm gonna fight you not over the abyss. That's a lot of damage! <laughs> He was back there just ripping into me and I had no idea. Fuck over here. What a fun sound. Omega wants to know why I turned off the music. I did not. Lord Cucked. I won't Lord Cuck you. Far out. What do we have here? An altar of sorts. Finally. Finally we can have Animal Crossing on the Switch. All I have to do... Take a big steamy dump right here on this altar. And we'll get Isabel and Tom Nook and Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I said this on Twitter, and I went I, I did it today. I went to Home Depot and uh took a shit on the floor. What a liberating experience it was, let me tell you. I recommend it highly. I don't. Don't do that. Mom! My guy told me to take a shit on the floor at Home Depot and I did it. Now I'm in jail. Don't poop on the floor at Home Depot. Stay in school. He's still alive. Hurry! Jesus. Oh, nice. Barbaric Space Whale says, I don't know, Home Depot's floors are so poopable. That's why it's just bare concrete. They're encouraging people pooping on the floor. They want people 
To poop on the floor in Home Depot. Obviously, very obviously. If they didn't want us to, they would have put down some like tile or, or, or linoleum or something. Oh, here we go. Okay, where, where are the demons? I'm running out of the quad damage. Got cocked again. Oh, G cocked again. Quad cooked. When do you die? Thank you. You're a problem. Now you're not a problem. I'm not damaging him, am, am I? Roasted! Oh, that's gonna happen again? That's so cool. I, I like this. What's up, Super Vinny? Thanks for coming to check out the channel. Um, I'm just falling off this fucking stage over and 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 over. I'm getting a little bit sick of it. Anybody else had this problem, or is this just me again? Is this rock and brain again? You slippery little cock. And squandered again in record time. So I'm thinking about not leaving this part of the arena so I don't fall off I, I, again. Because that's starting to really make me fucking angry. And no amount of lavender scented cancels is, is going to calm me the fuck down. Gunters. Yeah, I'm just gonna not leave this part. This part of the stage. Do we have something better? What about the, the ass cannon? Am I getting set on fire? I am. I'm trying to change to the ass cannon. I don't know which one it is. Boom, there we go. It's super effective! That didn't kill him? Oh, fuck. Diablo! Lord of Anu! This is bad.
Can you pick up the the armor at least? Did I did I pick it up? It looks like I did. Gonna assume that's the end of the wave right there. Would just feel a little bit better if uh, I could get some H HP. So all I got is a fuck a fucking bubble cannon. And I'm still taking tons of damage. Those minty blasts are not as refreshing as I was led to believe. The rocket launch does the trick. There you are. Wanted the health, but I beefed it. And I guess we did it. <clears throat> Only took me falling off the edge like what, nine times? Was anybody keeping fucking track of that shit? It's an obtuse level design. I had to say it. You know I had to say it. Oh, here we go. Get back to Mars! That's my coffin. And that's the guy... Oh, they brought... They brought me back to Mars from here. In their quest for power and cash. This is where they found me. The lore goes deep indeed. I'm- I'm wrong, Rogue Reaper. Well, you know what? That's my head cannon. That's my head cannon. That's a good point to end the stream. Guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Hope you had a good time. Uh, this game's a lot of fun when you have controls that actually, uh, like, are, are usable at, at all. Holy shit. What a fucking difference. I'm enjoying this game a lot now on PC. But we knew this already. Guys, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me here. And thank you for all the bits and the, the resubs, the subs. Um, if anyone's new here, there's links right there in the chat to all my social media stuff and also my YouTube channels. Um, Makoto says, have a good turkey day. I'm going to try to stream tomorrow night. I'm obviously not going to stream on Thanksgiving. Um, because I will be to I will be in a fucking trip to Fancoma. This man likes likes turkey. His birds in general. We've been over this. I'm a bird before. And uh, this it, for bird before is Thanksgiving is a very magical time of the year indeed. I will try to stream tonight tomorrow night, but if I don't get to see anybody before Thanksgiving, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Um If anybody made art for the stream tonight. Please tweet it at me with the hashtag JabroniMikeArt, and we will take a look at it right now. Uh, let's see if there's any art. We might There might be a little bit of a backlog of art. Uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, there's some fun stuff here tonight. From Star Heaven, it says, I made some interpretive art. What do you think it means? Okay, so I think that's supposed to be me. The Venetian mask, and I'm laying down on a field of pink, and there's a giant pig moon in the sky. Sorry, Evan, this means you have a fear of commitment. You have a fear of commitment, and also you are maybe uh, concerned about Mercury being in, in retrograde. Which it is right now, I think. No, it definitely, it definitely is. I like the macaroni stars, Al of Alpix. When the moon hit your eye like a big pizza macaroni, that's a moran. That's a moran. And also this. Definitely means you have a fear of commitment. I don't know. But you know what? I'll say this, Star. I've never seen anybody fucking more adept with crayons than you. Good work on this, bud. Keep it coming. Moving on. From Mountain Dew. Todd, my beautiful gamer husband. 
For breakfast, I serve him five pounds of Mountain Dew flavored protein. For lunch, he dines on delicious Mountain Dew and Dorito crumble soup. For dinner, he eats my A. That sounds like paradise, Vindogi. Thank you so much for this lovely art. Um, I don't know why you, you made Todd, like, muscular, because I am Todd, and I'm not muscular. But, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be working on that soon. I'm gonna start working out. Tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. It's always, always tomorrow. Mountain Dew flavored protein. You wanna get gamers in the gym? That's the way to do it. Although the protein shakes, you know what you could do is you could put some fucking Doritos in a blender with some muscle milk and fucking turn that shit on high. Whey powder protein. As in, way past cool! Get cool! Thank you for this awesome art, Vidogi. Trying to get gamers in the gym. It's a noble effort. It's just not gonna work. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. From Digital Moonstone, it says, I've been on a Beatles kick lately. And I'm assuming that's me and Vin as um, uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club band. Lonely Shark Club band in our case. Um, I can't help but feel like there's more to the image. You wouldn't have us jerking off down there, would you, Digital Moonstone? Because that'd be really super inappropriate. Although it is something that you would totally 1 million percent do. <laughs> Snack of Hope says you ruined it. No, it's fine. Look, the art's still good. <clears throat> Thank you for this lovely art, Digital Moonstone. Beat the Beatles. <laughs> From 426 Max Wedgie, sometimes the art just makes itself. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Wow, what a night. <laughs> what, what, what a night. A night to remember. <laughs> well, did you press space? I know I did. Oh, fuck. Thanks for the laugh, Wedgie. Moving on for Bubblecom. I want you to set my art supplies on fire. Destroying them instantly. This is what you get for bringing up bottle gum again. Bottle gum. A blast! For your taste buds. You might be a gamer if you enjoy organic free range gamer girl pee. I second bubble, bubble gum's art supply uh, being fucking incinerated in a fucking unholy fire. Like, just fucking scorch the earth. Like, everything within, like, a fucking 10-mile radius of wherever those art supplies are kept. Fucking just, just, just nuke it. Tactical nuke strike. Kill streak. Fucking Christ. Finally, from Alex the Doggo. Squirt guy is here to rip and tear across the room. Also feeling like shit, battling Empitigo. I have no idea what that is. Your streams keep me giggling, despite my face looking like a pizza. Some kind of acne? Well, good luck with that, Alex. And thank you for this delightful John Squartman Space Marine art. <laughs> I'll be maybe using it for the overlay during the next stream, because fuck it, why not? That's what we'll do. We'll have come in the top corner, uh, top right, and we'll have Squart Guy in the in the bottom right. John Squartman, Space Marine, reporting for duty. God fucking damn it. All right, guys. I had a great night. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for coming out. It's a pleasure to see you all as always. Uh, I am going to try to stream tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It'll be a surprise. Um, And yeah, I will not be streaming Thanksgiving. And then Friday... Uh, I plan on doing... I, I missed a day, didn't I? There's like another day in the week. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah, I forgot that there was another day in the week. And tomorrow's Tuesday. I think I'm going to try to actually uh, hit up Rev and see if we can continue Mike Rev tomorrow night. Because it's been a while. 
if he's around and he's down for it. Uh, and then Wednesday, maybe something. And then uh, Thursday, definitely not. Yeah, come. That's my brain. And then Friday, uh, maybe a thing if I'm not too busy. If I'm not still in a food coma, right? But we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Lots of love, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bro.